I'm Addison. And I'm Kyler, and this is our podcast on the Russian Revolution. So, the Russian Revolution took place in 1917, during the final phase of World War I. It removed Russia from the war and brought about the transformation of the Russian Empire into the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, the USSR, replacing Russia's traditional monarchy with the world's first communist state. The revolution happened in stages through the two separate coups, one in February and one in October. The new government, led by Vladimir Lenin, would solidify its power only after three years of the Civil War, which ended in 1920. Although the events of the Russian Revolution happened abruptly, the causes may be traced back nearly a century. Prior to the revolution, the Russian monarchy had become progressively weaker and increasingly aware of its own vulnerability, and therefore more reactionary. Nicholas II, the Tsar who led Russia in the years leading up to the revolution, had personally witnessed revolutionary terrorists assassinate his grandfather, and subsequently, his own father responded to the assassination through brutal oppression of the Russian people. When Nicholas II himself became Tsar in 1894, he used similarly severe measures to subdue resistance movements, which were becoming bolder and more widespread every year. These concessions continued gradually until Nicholas II's grip on power became very tenuous. As Nicholas II grew weaker, Vladimir Lenin rose to prominence as the most powerful figure in Russia. Although this famous leader of the October Revolution was not even in Russia for the February Revolution, he had lived in self-imposed exile in Europe since 1900 and returned to Russia only in April 1917, he nonetheless exerted tremendous influence. Whatever history's judgment of him, few other Russian revolutionaries possessed Lenin's decisiveness and strength of vision for Russia's future. Born in 1870 in the provincial town of Simbursk as Vladimir Ilyich Ionov, the young Lenin was profoundly affected by his older brother Alexander's 1887 execution for being involved in a plot to assassinate the Tsar. As a young adult, Vladimir joined the resistance movement himself and took the pseudonym Lenin, but swore that he would never engage in any sort of adventurism that had ended his brother's life. Nevertheless, his actions would one day become very adventurous indeed. The revolution that Lenin led marked one of the most radical turning points in Russia's 1300-year history. It affected economics, social structure, culture, international relations, industrial development, and most any other benchmark by which one might measure a revolution. Although the new government would prove to be at least as repressive as the one it replaced, the country's new rulers were drawn largely from the intellectual and working classes rather than from the aristocrats, which meant a considerable change in direction for Russia. The revolution opened the door to, for Russia to fully enter the industrial age. Prior to 1917, Russia was a mostly agrarian nation that had dabbled in industrial development, only to a limited degree. By 1917, Russia's European neighbors had embraced industrialization for more than half a century, making technological advancements such as widespread electrification, which Russia had yet to achieve. After the revolution, new urban industrial regions appeared quickly in Russia and became increasingly important to the country's development. The population was drawn to the cities in huge numbers. Education also took a major upswing, and illiteracy was almost entirely eradicated. The Russian Revolution also had considerable international consequences. Lenin's government immediately pulled Russia out of World War I, changing the balance of forces for the remaining participants. During the ensuing civil war in Russia, several nations, including the United States, sent troops to Russia in hopes of keeping the chaos from spreading beyond Russia's boundaries. Over the next several decades, the Soviet Union actively sponsored and assisted communist movements and revolutions around the world in an effort to broaden its sphere of influence. The country also played a fundamental role in the defeat of Nazi Germany during World War II. Threatened by the possibility of revolutions in their own land, the governments of many Western nations viewed communism as a spreading threat and moved to isolate the Soviet Union as much as possible. Following World War II and the advent of nuclear age, a confrontation between the Soviet Union and the United States took center stage. As this Cold War got underway, the two countries emerged as superpowers with much of the rest of the world falling in behind one or the other. A protracted nuclear arms race between the United States and Soviet Union would last until the USSR finally collapsed in 1991. The February Revolution The Russian Revolution of 1917 centers around two primary events, the February Revolution and the October Revolution. 
The February Revolution, which removes Tsar Nicholas II from power, developed spontaneously out of a series of increasingly violent demonstrations on the street of Petrograd, present-day St. Petersburg, during the time when the Tsar was away from the capital visiting troops on the World War I front. Though the February Revolution was a popular uprising, it did not necessarily express the wishes of the majority of the Russian population, as the event was primarily limited to the city of Petrograd. However, most of those who took power after the February Revolution in the Provisional Government, the temporary government that replaced the Tsar, and in the Petrograd Soviet, an influential local council representing workers and soldiers in Petrograd, genuinely favored rule that was at least partially democratic. In Russia, the February Revolution was known as such because of Russia's use of the Julian calendar. It begins on March 8, 1917, when riots and strikes over the scarcity of food and erupt in Petrograd, which is now St. Petersburg. By 1917, most Russians had lost faith in the leadership ability of the Tsarist regime. Government corruption was rampant. The Russian economy remained backward and Tsar Nicholas II had repeatedly dissolved the Dumas. The Russian parliamentary groups established the placate the masses after the revolution of 1905, each time they opposed his will. But the immediate cause of the February Revolution, the first phase of the more sweeping Russian Revolution of 1917, was Russia's disastrous involvement in World War I. Militarily, Imperial Russia was no match for industrialized Germany. Russian troops were shockingly ill-equipped for fighting. The Russian casualties were greater than those sustained by any nation in any previous war. Meanwhile, the Russian economy was hopelessly disrupted by the costly war effort, and moderates joined Russian radical elements in calling for the overthrow of Tsar. On March 8, 1917, demonstrators clamoring for bread took to the streets of the Russian capital of Petrograd. Supported by 90,000 men and women on strike, the protesters clashed with police, refusing to leave the streets. March 10, the strike spread among Petrograd's workers, and irate mobs of workers destroyed police stations. Several factories elected deputies in the Petrograd Soviet, or Council of Workers, following the model devised during the Revolution of 1905. On March 11, the troops of Petrograd Army garrison were called out to quell the uprising. In some encounters, Regiments opened fire, killing demonstrators, but the protesters kept to the streets, and the troops began to waver. That day, Nicholas again dissolved the Dumas. When the frustrated Russian army at Petrograd unexpectedly switched their support to the demonstrators, the imperial government was forced to resign and a provisional government was established. Three days later, Nicholas formally abdicated his throne, effectively ending nearly four centuries of Tsarist rule in Russia. The October Revolution, also known as the Bolshevik Revolution, overturned the provisional government and established the Soviet Union. The October Revolution was a much more deliberate event, orchestrated by a small group of people. The Bolsheviks, who led this coup, prepared it in only six months. They were generally viewed as an extremist group and had very little popular support when they began serious efforts in April 1917. By October, the Bolsheviks' popular base was much larger. Though still a minority within the country as a whole, they had built up a majority of support within Petrograd and other urban centers. After October, the Bolsheviks realized that they could not maintain power in an election-based system without sharing power with other parties and compromising their principles. As a result, they formally abandoned the democratic process in January 1918 and declared themselves the representatives of a dictatorship of the proletariat. In response, the Russian Civil War broke out in the summer of that year and would last well into 1920. In April 1917, Lenin and other revolutionaries returned to Russia after having been permitted by the German government to cross Germany. The Germans hoped that the Bolsheviks would undermine the Russian war effort. Lenin galvanized the small and therefore the cautious Bolshevik party in action. The courses he advocated were simplified into the powerful slogans, End the War, all land to the peasants, and all power to the Soviets. 